Homes for the aged are supposed to be a safe place for the vulnerable and ill. However, CTV News exclusive investigation reveals that home is often where the hurt is. Abuse, neglect and assaults are commonplace for senior citizens in long-term care homes and often the government solutions don't work. Christina Howard joins us with the first in a four-part series on long-term care. Christina. Tara, about 76,000 Ontarians live in long-term care homes. That's about the population of Sarnia. Now for most, this is the last place they'll call home. And for many, it's simply hazardous. Documents obtained by CTV reveal that in southwestern Ontario alone, there were 1,500 reported cases of neglect or abuse in less than four years. And as we discovered, little can be done to completely stop it. This is Ada Cuthbert on Valentine's Day. A 92-year-old woman, beaten, bruised, defeated at the hands of a fellow resident. We've been told from our investigation that he had uh, assaulted numerous people on Marion Villa side. And they just moved him around and he finally ended up in my mother's wing. And he attacked my mother, plain and simple. Ada Cuthbert has been assaulted by other dementia patients three times since she moved to Mount Hope. The hospital says it takes these sorts of incidents very seriously. Patients and resident safety is the most important thing. Three and four times? Come on, really? Really? But it does happen, here and elsewhere. Documents obtained by CTV reveal that in southwestern Ontario alone, 1,500 cases of abuse and neglect were reported to the ministry between July 2010 and December 2013 resulting in 172 citations for violations of the Long-Term Care Homes Act. We combed through every inspection report for every home in southwestern Ontario, literally thousands of pages, and what we found was disturbing. Resident-to-resident -resident assaults happen often enough, especially amongst those with dementia, but abuse by staff happens frequently too. Consider Terrace Lodge run by Elgin County. As part of an April Fool's joke, residents were subject to pranks conducted by an RN and a PSW. It doesn't sound too bad until you read what happened. Vaseline was placed on the crossbars and handles of two resident lifts and two resident door handles. A resident had jam applied to a brief that the resident was wearing. Not only were these pranks dangerous, potentially leading to fatal falls, but they were also dehumanizing. A resident was put to bed in a dirty diaper filled with jam just to elicit a chuckle from other staff. Dave Marr, Elgin County Warden, isn't laughing. We made sure that everyone on staff was fully aware of what is and is not allowed. Uh, those people that are responsible uh, are no longer there. The county has a zero tolerance approach to abuse, but here and elsewhere that approach is often ignored. Pam Malcolm was a personal support worker in New Brunswick for 20 years, but after only one year in an Ontario home... I absolutely quit. She didn't witness staff physically beating people under care, but what she did see sent chills down her spine. The verbal abuse to the residents that uh, couldn't fend for themselves. She says staff would often use derogatory language with residents and taunt and tease those who depend on them for care. The woman wanted her socks off after we got her into bed and the PSW would just totally ignore her and just listen to her scream and walk out of the room. Pam now makes her living caring for elderly in their homes where she says she can give residents the care they deserve. Carol wishes she could afford to do the same for her mother. It's like a warehouse for waiting for the dead. It's a horrible, horrible site. Now you're going to want to check out our website for more detailed numbers on abuse at long-term hair homes. That's london.ctvnews.ca. Tomorrow we'll go through some of the actions the government and homes have taken to reduce the risk of abuse and show you why some of those solutions just aren't working. Tara? Great work. Thanks, Christina.